Chris Woomer, Veil vale Solutions. Uh, do a little work with the carving today at uh, varying distances. So you can see behind me, kind of got uh, three targets set up, and you know you can do this any number of ways, run them three in a row, anything like that. But kind of what we're going to work on here is, uh, you know, kind of how fast you're shooting at varying distances. So close targets, we're going to be able to hose a little bit faster, transition to the long shots, uh, and you can actually see we have a uh, a hostage shot, so to speak, or a no shoot target. Uh, covering most of the targets. So the only shot we have available is the headshot. So we're probably gonna have to slow down a hair just to get our hits on, on that target. Um, but you know what we're gonna do is we're gonna put two rounds on each target, shooting for A zones or, or the best zone available we have on the targets. Um, and, then, and then work the drill, you know, uh, close target, far target, back to close, or, or the two close to the far, or starting far and then shooting close. Just working varying tra uh, transitions, uh, sequences between these three targets to kind of get a feel for uh, you know, what we can do at various ranges and, uh, you know, what's exposed and available that we have at the time. All right, guys, so we're going to start off. Uh, first drill, what we're going to do is we're going to run two rounds on each target. We're going to go two rounds on the near target on the left, the far target that only has the head exposed, and then two rounds again uh, up close. And, you know, what you'll be able to see is uh, how fast we can run this gun and work these transitions off of uh, what's available and the distances we have to work with. So uh, let's go ahead and run it and kind of take a look, all right? All right, so all the hits look pretty good. Uh, I don't have a timer because I'm running this one suppressed, but I can see my two headshots down there at about, uh, I don't know, 15, 20 yards. They're both in the zone, uh, no shoots clear, but you can definitely hear a difference in my cadence between when I'm shooting up close to what I have available far and then back up close. So we're gonna run that one more time and uh, just try to take a look. Shot that a little bit faster, still got two rounds down there on the head, everything looks good. This time we're going to change it up, running a different sequence, we'll run the two near targets backwards and then we'll shoot the far target at the end. So all my hits look pretty good there. Uh, look good at the far target as well. So you can definitely hear a difference in the cadence. You know, up close we can run that gun basically as fast as we can pull the trigger. Uh, gun's not moving around a whole lot. We're at a good distance. Far target, we got to we got to make sure our shots are there uh, in good placement on that head, especially since we got a limited uh, limited availability of that target. Okay. All right, guys. So wrapping up this uh, this drill, you know, you, you can see how we have it set up. Uh, you know, you can stretch this thing out as far as you want. I mean. You know, especially with carbines, you can run this thing out to, you know, 100 yards if you want or, or even longer. Um, but, you know, really kind of work those varying distances. We're, we're kind of limited here today, but you guys get the idea. But stretch it out. Run things up close. See how fast you can run the trigger. You know, put it out at 50 yards. See if you can still run at that same speed or you got you to dial it back a hair. So, um, you know, change up the order. Change up the sequence. Change up your gear. See how things work. You know, play around with it. Get a feel for uh, what works for you and what doesn't. Maybe what you need to work on and uh, get better at. Uh, so, hope you guys dig it. Hope you like it. Check it out. Uh, Chris Woomer, Vale Solutions, and Big Daddy Unlimited.